Hey, Mark Nelson here. And today what I want to share with you is the idea of your brand. See, your story is your brand. And I'm a big fan of Russell Brunson's and how he has dumped things inside ClickFunnels. And he actually wrote a book, and if I, I brought it out here, it's called Expert Secrets, and I, right? And if you haven't read it, it you should be picking that book up. In fact, I can help you get that if you'd like. But Russell, what he did, he, he talked about the Ethany Bridge story. It's eight parts. And what it is, it's really things you see in a movie all the time. But I want to help you out with your story. And you're a pep Epiphany Bridge story. I'm having trouble getting that one out there. There's eight parts, but the first one is your backstory. And it's your story that just really gives a vested interest to your to the people. If you, if you know, watch movies, you know, Born Identity, you know how that story starts out, but the backstory of your journey, right? So my back journey, I, I'm a network marketer, internet marketer. So. It started out, there was a time where we had to change businesses. And when we changed businesses, we really couldn't find anything that was going on. We, we couldn't make it happen. And we really struggled as a family. In fact, we really didn't know where we're going to go. And we ended up living in a barn. Now it was a friend's barn and it was a working arrangement. They had a, uh, a horse stable and dog training and I trained dogs on the side my wife had horses so we worked for room and board but before we got this thing moving our backstory is we lived in a barn that was two eight by ten rooms in a bathroom with my wife and I and two kids that lived in bunk beds it was actually pretty fun so the, the first part is you have to give a compelling story that people really grab hold of the next one is your desires and there's conflicts going on you have an external conflict and an internal conflict okay so if you start with the external in my story my external conflict was I didn't have time to do any of this I wanted to build a business I searched I found a way to build money online but we lived in an extremely small town and to build a business I had to learn totally different strategies and learn how to build a business and I wasn't very techy. I had to learn new skills all over again the internal conflict or my desire see my desire was to make a living not only to move out of the barn but to have a house you know to, to get ourselves into a house that uh, we were extremely proud of when we we're living back on our own See, internally, what was going on inside me was that I didn't think I was good enough. I had no value. I grew up in a retail store, owned a retail store, and I was very good at it, but I found out I was really an introvert. I didn't like talking to people. I didn't like asking them for so much of the sale, but even to have a conversation with me, I did not want that to happen so so far we've gone through two parts the backstory and then your desires external or internal the next one is the wall see I started this journey in to build a network marketing company to build possibly head to online marketing what wall did I hit see I joined a company and it was a belly-to-belly -belly company, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. But what happened, I was gone from my family all the time. I had kids six and four, and I was out marketing every night. And my wall was when my wife talked to me and said, well, hey, do you know why we had kids? And it was really a talk to me, like said, hey, this is not what we're going to do. And I was... I didn't know what to do. I was trying to earn money. I was trying to build a business. I was trying to do something else. See, that's the third part. The backstory, 
desires, internal, external, and hitting the wall. Now it's the epiphany. Here's what I found though. I found a company that taught me about attraction marketing and affiliate marketing. And my world was saved because I could learn from this community of people. I could learn inside how they built their business. And I worked at that to build my own business. I got together with the plan. I started learning from some mentors. And the mentors actually put a business plan for me to, uh, to not only get online, but to get some sales funnels up and start building myself, my business. But what I found was that it cost more money than I had. And I didn't know what to do. So I really had to go on and learn how to do social media marketing, which was so new to me because again, I'm an introvert, but I had to get outside of myself so I could build this business and help people along the way. But the real thing that happened was that I learned it wasn't about me. My business grew when I started serving others. So the end result, okay, so we've gone through this and I'm kind of going back and forth. We had a backstory, your desire, external, internal, the wall, the epiphany, the plan, the conflict, the end result. The end result is my business is taking off. Now some people, have paid their businesses take off overnight. I struggled and I had to work, but I had a big learning curve to get take care of. And now what's happening, see the more people I help, the more people, the more my business grows. And the transformation is the last part. See the transformation of my story is I'm a whole new person. My family's a whole new person. We live, we are out living in our dream. We not only bought a house then, we bought a small hobby farm. Then we moved to a different town, bought a brand new house that was just built. And now my wife and I live out in the lake in an RV that was our dream forever. So that is an epiphany story. And it's all about, again, your story is your brand. Now, this was Russell Brunson's epiphany story. And this is his script. Sometimes I shorten mine down. But again, there's eight parts to this epiphany bridge. It's the backstory, your desires, external and internal. And when you're talking about your desire, but what struggle, what external are you struggling about? What internal thing are you struggling about? And then the wall that you hit. And again, think of some of these movies you've seen. And then the epiphany. What did you experience? What new opportunity showed up in your life? And then the plan that you put together to take this new opportunity and go. See, now if you think about movies, there's this first struggle and then they get moving and then there's one more conflict. What is the conflict going along in your plan? And then you tell the end results and the final, the transformations. So again, this was brought out of this book called Expert Secrets, sorry, it was caught in my table. It's called Expert Secrets, if you'd like a copy of that. Again, I have a contest going on in my group to see who puts the most posts and comments up um, to get either Expert Secrets or .com Secrets. I also have something going on. I've been in Russell Brunson's One Funnel Away Challenge two times, and I'm gonna start my third on August 5th. And what I'm going to do inside this group is every day I'm gonna come on and, and go through what's going on the one funnel away. And if you're in business, you need funnels and you need your own funnels. So this is a way for you to get started and I can help you on your journey. I have other bonuses inside. The, the bonuses would be at one, I give you your own one funnel away challenge so you can actually ask people to join with you and come in on this group and we can help you build a whole new business. If you would like that link, or want to get a hold of me, just put down the comments OFA. That's one funnel away. Put down the comments OFA. And I'll just reach out to you. I'll send you a link, let you look at it, reach out and see if it's a good fit. But I would love to do this together with you. You're going to find it very exciting, 
very exhilarating and it will grow any business you want to grow. So again, put OFA in the comments below and we will talk soon. Bye.